Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Basketball Wives Season 10 Episode 7. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows, reality shows, and I also do reactions. If you're returning, you're one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Now you guys, I'm trying to get through this video the best way I can because I got this cough cold situation going on. Thank goodness it is not Miss Rona. I got a test yesterday, said I, your girl was fine. I just got some allergy cold situation going on, which it is very, very annoying. Yeah, husband doing good. Finally got into a hospital room last night around 7 after being in the hospital, being in the emergency room since 7 o'clock Sunday morning. Yeah, so I am feeling a lot better like th about that. So let's go ahead and get into this review. We have one comment from T. Johnson. Hey, boo. I like Angel and she's very pretty, but she dresses taxi tacky it with too much accessories. I feel you on that one. It's like... Your clothes seem like it's for somebody who was on stage performing and you just walking around, you know, at your establishment or you hanging out with the girls. It don't look right on you because you're pregnant. Now, pre-pregnancy, it probably looks cute on you, but now not so much. And then you got your hair just uh, as big as you can get it. Then you got these doggone earrings. This hanging this low on your ear and all this other stuff with a little sparkle razzle do over here. Yeah, it's a lot going on within the in the accessory department. Like less is more. Oh yeah. I feel bad for her son, but Angel probably always busy to keep her mind off of things. That is true. She seems like I need to work, 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 and I'm just gonna like put everything else in the back of my mind. But like your 13 year old son needs you more than ever is because you were the only parent he has. Unfor unfortunately, his father take took his life, and I guess he thought he was y'all thought he was gonna get a new daddy with your ex boyfriend. And that didn't go anywhere. Now you with Rockstar, we already know that he doesn't seem like the type that's going to be somebody's father figure that's going to show them guidance and all these other things. I remember Jackie was starting her podcast with CC and OG on the show. I actually think they was talking about the same topic. If this was last season, I think I got like two episodes in and I was still like, oh, no. I did not cut my ringer off. I hope that wasn't nobody important. It didn't say your name. So I'm assuming it wasn't anybody important. Because I am forever getting doggone it phone calls from uh, random people and random businesses. Like, I've had this phone for a good portion of two years now. The person that you have been trying to call, if you ain't got them in two years, you just should assume that they don't look at this number. But anyways, if it was last season... I got two episodes in because I was still fresh in the the way that they acted in season eight. And I was like, I really don't want to do basketball wise. But then the pandemic jumped off. It was like, girl, we ain't got nothing else to watch. All your other shows is on reruns right now. So what you going to do? Tried it. Couldn't do it. So let's go ahead and get into this episode. Thank you, T. Johnson, boo. All right. I don't need to know that. Come on. Where we at? Oh, Jackie. I think it's Jackie, Malaysia, and Duffy meet up. And Jackie is just hilarious to me because she is always trying to seem like her and Doug are like the freakies of the freaks. They just be popping off and having sex all the time. And this is how I was able to keep my husband for over 20 some years. Cause you know, I'd be dropping it like it's hot and I'd be wearing all the sexy things showing off my girls while she is sitting there with a fan. Cause she is hot. And I was like, girl, is it, is it the pause that you got going on? Not shading you if it is, because eventually your girl's going to be going through that too. But it's like, it was funny that it was like, she was talking about some, yes, this is how I be keeping Doug. But she still got that doggone fan on her like she going through the hot flashes. I just thought that was uh, hilarious. Another thing, I could have gone my whole entire life and a few other people's lies without knowing that Jackie and Doug be on the plane hunching. 
I don't care if it's a private plane. I don't care if it's your plane. I don't care if it's your house. I don't want to know about you and Doug hunting. Don't know why my voice changed like that. But I really don't. I don't want to know about you guys hunting. So, is, is um, Duffy's... Ooh, let me get out something like a head and just that. I'm trying to get it bright to where I can have a little bit of shoulder and head too without my head being cut off. But yeah, where am I? Oh, Duffy's, it's Duffy's birthday and she is doing her last performance in Vegas and she wants to invite the ladies. Now, Bondi Blue, if y'all don't know who she is, y'all go over there and check her out. It's B-O-N-D-Y Blue. She does basketball wives. She does some of the um, housewives. She does a plethora of things. Love her. She mentioned in her last review how Duffy's fiance has given her a baby, has not given her a ring, and walked her down the aisle or gone to the courthouse, but he wants to have a say into what she does with her career. A career she had before she got with him. Now, I'm paraphrasing what she said, but that's basically it. And I was like, that's kind of where Rockstar, where Angel and Rockstar is. She got with this man and he wants to control who she's friends with, where she's going. And you can't tell me that he wasn't the reason to why she wanted to either give her son a different room or put him in the guest house. You can't tell me it wasn't, it, it wasn't Rockstar. It's like, y'all get with these dudes. Y'all got child career established already. Get with this dude. He didn't gave you a couple of babies or at least one. I don't know if Duffy's oldest son is by her fiance or not, but it, 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 either way, he didn't gave you at least one baby. Maybe have given you a ring in Duffy's case. Has not married you, but wants to control or have a say in your career. Just like that old rock star. Give you several promises ring, promise rings. Sir, she already got two kids. What she needs is an engagement ring and eventually a wedding ring. And not an engagement ring and we've been engaged for the last doggone 20 something years, neither. And now he's telling you, well, I don't, that's why I don't want you hanging around with such and such. And this is why I think that you need to do, mm -mm. No. So we moving over to Brandy. Her lab, her lab work came back, and it's you know it's a little alarming for her doctor, and she's really not sure what she wants to do. Like the doctor's like, we meet, we may need to go ahead and look into doing a full on hysterectomy. You have this one ovary left, and you have a history with ovarian cancer. Like it may be time for just to go ahead and get. Go on ahead and just get rid of the other ovary and the uterus and maybe the, what is it called? I cannot think of what it's called at this very, very moment. Because y'all know my mind just be going blank sometimes. But it maybe it's time to get, you know, the whole reproductive organ, organs taken out at this time. But like. She doesn't, she doesn't know, because, like, maybe I want to have another baby. And Jason's talking about, well, maybe we should try to have another baby before, you know, you think about the total hysterectomy. I was like, have y'all thought about a baby up until now? Was that ever a, a discussion? Or is this a, all of a sudden, I want to have a baby because I may no longer have my reproductive organs? I really don't know. And she's... She's feeling like she won't be a full woman if she does not have her uterus. Now, I'm not I, I am not gonna tell a man or woman, child, I'm not gonna tell a person how they should feel about what their body is doing and what they should do with their body. But I will say this if she doesn't have the surgery, she's not going to be here to feel like anything. Now, I'm not going through that same situation, but I was told at a very young age, it was not smart for me to have children because I am on medication. I have lupus. Had it since I was 10 years old. And my lupus attacks my kidneys. It's I'm not really supposed to be out in the sun like that for real, for real. So I was told very on having a baby wasn't the safest thing for me. 
So I've had that in my head since then. I've known that there's several women who have gone on and gotten pregnant who have lupus, who some have done good and some not so good. But I know if I get if I go off of my medications and try to have a baby, this is beforehand, try to have a baby, there's a good chance that I'm going to make myself so bad that I am not going to be able to be here for my baby. So it was discussed that I was not going to have a baby and I've, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with just adopting or just being this foster mother. So I went on ahead before I got married and got my tubes tied because I didn't want to have the chance of having a baby. A lot of people was like, why would you do that? You haven't had a baby yet. It's because I know what it's like to be sick and in the hospital for months on end. Being sick as a dog. I didn't want to do that. And even though me and Brandy's situation is different, I understand the whole thing of, well, I want to be a mama. But I was like, I can still be a mama without giving birth. So this is a situation that Jason Jason and Brandy, I don't know, my words is not working right today for whatever reason. They're going to have to sit down and like, do, is this something we really want to do? Have they been talking about a baby? Or is it, I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Is it is this the moment of like, okay, maybe this is my last chance to have a, ba a baby? Because, you know, she getting older. And the older you get, the more high risk you become. Now, y'all, Duffy and Brooke are at the uh, hair salon getting them, you know, some new weaves. And I don't know if I was tripping, but it looks like something was going on with Brooke's lips. I don't know what it is. They was looking, they was looking very plump and pouty. And I'm, I'm looking at her, and, and even in her confessional, I was like, what? them lips don't look, something was looking off to me. And I was like, maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. So Malaysia and her kids, they go looking for a bigger house. It's the four of them staying in a two-bedroom place. They are used to living in the lap of luxury. They're used to having dog on it. Each person in the house has their own bedroom, their own bathroom, huge swimming pool in the backyard, all of the things. They was living in Atlanta, so in Atlanta, you can get more for your buck. Out in California, not so much, but they are she love her kids but you know i love y'all to where y'all can have y'all room y'all can each have y'all room y'all can go in y'all room and do what y'all want to do and we not cramped on top of each other now me i realized how when i was moving me and my husband moved from a three bedroom one and a half bath house with a converted garage we had to downsize a lot and when i tell you i realized how much stuff i had that i was not using or that i did not need i had tennis shoes in my closet from 2011 that i had not worn since i don't know when i had a pair of heels in my closet that have been in there for at least five years that i got it pay less because they was cute and on sale and then i realized I can't walk in these shoes. And since Payless was going out of business at the time, I could not return them. Had them in my closet. Had them in one place, moved to another place, to another place. And I was like, I'm not finna take them to another place because I don't wear them. It was clothes and other shoes. I was like, I have these shoes and I do not wear these. I am not about to doggone haul them to another location that I am not going to be wearing them. It was stuff that I forgot I had because it was in the converted garage area. So I kind of understand what it's like going from living in a, a bigger place. Now, mind you, mine was far from what Brady and her kids was living in, but I still under, ugh, um, I understand having, you know, to get a smaller space. I am happy now because it's less house I got to clean. I'm still upset that I do not have my studio, but this dining room is doing just fine right now. Where we at? 
Malaysia. Like I just said a minute ago, I don't have any kids. And I'm not dealing with the ex that I have had kids with. But Malaysia is saying that she does not want to take this man to court. One, because when they've gone to court in the past, she's spending all this money on attorneys. And he's not showing up. And first of all, I would have sued him for that. Because I've paid my good money for this lawyer. You're not showing up? Uh Uh-uh. And this is about your kids? Mm Mm-mm. She doesn't want to take him to child support court because she doesn't want everybody in her business. And I was like, Malaysia, I don't know if you know this, but boo. But you have brought you and your kids on this reality show. And you spoke several times about your, your, your ex-husband not paying child support. We in your business, boo. Don't know if you know that, but we are in your business. The moment that you said Janeiro is not paying child support, we got in your business. The moment you got on the scene, we got in your business. So they gonna be you. It's gonna people gonna be in your business regardless because you decided to get on the reality show and talk about what's been going on. Okay. So. What I got from this conversation between Duffy, Angel, and British is Rockstar does not like her discussing their relationship with her friends. He does not like her discussing their relationship with her friends, probably because he doesn't want her friends to tell her, you are in a messed up situation, Angel. What are you doing? You need to get out, and you need to get out now. Because she's like, you know how your man don't want you talking to your friends about what's going on? And I was like, yes. Because Rockstar is one of those kind of people. He wants to keep how he's being emotionally, you know, abusive towards you to himself. He doesn't want you telling your friends and your friends telling me you can do better. Yeah. And it's the fact that she told Duffy that she was not happy. And we can see that she is not happy. But she is mad that people are talking about her not being happy. I'm like, ma'am, really? But I've also gathered from Angel, she wants this family unit, mommy, daddy, children. She had that with her ex-husband. Unfortunately, he is no longer here of his choices. Sad about that. She thought she was going to have this with her ex-ball playing boyfriend, fiance, whoever he was. That did not work out. And now she is with Rockstar. And she's made a family with him. And she's so wanting this family unit to work that she is going to ignore all of the red flags. Like my mind and my heart are in conflict. In my mind, I know this is bad, but in my heart, I want this family unit. And a lot of women and men do that. They ignore all the red flags that is going on and get mad when other people are clocking on to what's going on and telling you about it. So, Brooke take her adult kids to Dave and Buster's so she can... You know, time to move to let them know that she wants to have IBS. You know, I love me some, I'm a big kid at heart, so I love me some David Busters. When my nephews was little, little, Chuck E. Cheese every birthday. And I was the auntie that was up there getting the coins from the table and playing the games and getting all the tickets. So did my nephews, they could have them a nice big something for their birthday. Oh, get them something from the little booth. Like, whoever's birthday it was, I'm racking up, I'm racking up, I'm getting all the tickets. Here you go, baby. That's what, for Annie, Annie got you a lot of tickets this time. They was happy. But, you know, now they're teenagers now, and they grown, and they act like they can't talk to nobody on the phone. This ain't about them. This is about Brooke and her kids going to Dave and Buster's. We getting off the, my, ne- my anger towards my nephews, even though I love them. Yeah, side note. My nephew, who got mad at me. 
because I was taking a video of them opening their presents on Christmas. Something I've done since they knew, since they had their first Christmas. And they talking about some man, auntie, what you doing? But yesterday, I don't know if you knew who's been videotaped. I got like a 20 second clip of my nephew. I'm like, so you must have not known that you was being videotaped because you were at, you would think that this doggone young man is wanted by somebody the way he don't like taking pictures. I don't know when this happened, but he used to be always wanting to take a picture with me and just take a picture for you. But now he's a little bit grown and he older than he taller than me and his voice a little deeper than me. Now all of a sudden he too cool for school. Anyway, this ain't about me. Her daughter was initially against it. But she's like, you know, I thought it was weird at first because her, her kids are like in their mid 20s and she's trying to start over fresh. I'm like, girl, I mean, I understand you and your husband. Y'all want to have a baby together. But you be going, you, you going to be older taking your kids to school. You going to have to get up and feed the baby, change the baby. Rock the baby. Her son, like, even though he's like, it seems a little ghetto, like, I'm going to have a kid, and my kid is going to be younger than that honor uncle. That's weird. But, you know, that's kind of my family, too. My auntie is, like, a year younger than her niece. Anyway, well... My grandma was still at a good age to have kids, and my uncle started early. We just don't put that like it. But anyways, what was I about to say? Yeah, with the whole getting up with the baby. Y'all, I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what age this happened, but I no longer want to leave the house. Because leaving the house, I got to put on something presentable. I don't want to be doing that. And especially somebody trying to have something at night. Now, when we moved, we used to live right across the street from my uh, my husband's cousin's house. So if she was having something, that was great because it was right across the street. I could just go over there, sit for a minute, eat some good food, hang out with family and friends. And I could just walk up right across the street and go home. Loved it. Anytime with a family celebration going on, and I didn't know beforehand, it's like, okay, we finna do this today, and go ahead and knock on the door and let them know. Loved it. But I want to have my nighttime baths out of the way by 7.30, and I just want to be chilling in my bed by 8 o'clock when my pajamas on, listening to the TV while on my tablet. That's where I'm at now. I want to be sleep by 1210. I don't want to, I'm mad at all the times I did not get a good sleep in as a child. Why am I making this about me? Y'all, I don't know what I'm going through today, but yeah, they happy. Okay, I was trying to figure out what I wrote. Yes, this scene with Angel and Rockstar, she needs to stick with this look. Yeah. Like, the, even though the earrings were some big hoop earrings, it was... It wasn't as much as the earrings she usually wears. And the outfit, she didn't look stuffed in it. And I appreciated Her hair was kind of straight going on. She needs to stick with this look. Yeah. Now, she's discussing this. It's, it's Duffy's birthday this weekend. She wants to go to Vegas. Now, while she's with Rockstar in this scene, you can tell that she wants to go to this party. But in her confession, though, she's put it as, oh, well, you know, it's high risk and I really shouldn't be partying. Rockstar says he don't want her to go because she's seven months pregnant. I just believe he don't want her to go because he don't want her friends getting in her ear. Now, it would be completely different if Angel said herself, like, I wanted to support my girl, but I'm seven months pregnant. I really, 
I really shouldn't be like going out like that for real, for real. These girls, you don't know how they're going to pop off. So maybe I should say my tail at home. I would understand that. But she clearly wants to go because she clearly wants to get out of the house. But in her confessional, Rockstar is right. I really need to stay my behind at home. I'm seven months pregnant and I'm high risk. Where am I at? Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking about. I think I've broken the code to Angel and Rockstar's relationship. I'm, and I could be completely wrong and just doggone and putting, doggone making stuff up in my mind. They got together at, right before the whole Panini popped off. Then, you know, they couple now, now it's the Panini. People are stuck in a house, can't go nowhere. And they've, he, they've settled into this rhythm of, we at home all the time, with each other all the time. Then the Panini slowed down a little bit. Places was opening up, business was opening up. And Angel, slowly and slowly, was getting back into business. You know, working, doing her business and all that stuff. And next thing you know... Bam, you pregnant. Now you are stuck with me. And now I feel that I can tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. I could be completely wrong about that. Oh, man. Okay. But y'all, I did not overlook the fact that she said this whole situation with Duffy was a misunderstanding. No. Duffy expressed to you, well, expressed to the ladies... The, uh, what, how you felt and that you wasn't happy you expressed to Duffy on camera that you wasn't happy okay okay since you don't want to upset Rockstar now it was a misunderstanding anyways so they get on a private plane now I don't know, this private plane situation, I'm like, did they actually rent this private plane? Because we seen them inside of what looked like a private plane. But if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, there is a company that you can rent out a shell of a private plane. It has the windows, it has the seats, it has the aisles. But it is not an actual, factual private plane. Yes, I did see that little two-second clip of outside of a window, but that could have been taken from anywhere. That could have been taken from any person who was flying and then took their camera outside of the window. Just because we see them exiting off of this said plane does not convince me that it's a plane. Because they didn't probably upgraded the services to where it this is the outside and here's the steps. You can rent this. So you can take your pictures getting on and off the plane. There is another pl private plane shell situation to where it's the inside. Yeah. I don't know why I just I what I'm always assuming and thinking people is putting on because Nine times out of ten on these reality shows, that's what they're doing. So, yes, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day for 99 Make sure your notifications are also in my beautiful face. What's up a video? You can click on it. You can like it. You can share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my people. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people, tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by taking that icon above. This is Lady T signing out. Have a good one.